Okay, so we're on page 17 and we get to learn two songs. And these are songs that you may have heard before. This is fun. We're moving out of the realm of sort of uh, nursery songs, which yeah, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, hot cross buns and London bridges. But it's fun to play to play stuff that you may have heard. Um, this first one uh, you may have heard as uh, the Sally Gardens. It's a pretty popular one for, uh, you know, Penny Whistle and stuff like that. You've probably heard this one before. Um, so it starts with a weird measure. So if you haven't seen music before, if this is kind of your first first uh, foray into written music, just a brief explanation. Um, it's in 4-4. Four, four. That means we have each measure is divided into four parts, and each of those parts is worth one, one quarter note, basically, right? So uh, a qu four quarter notes would fill up a measure. Um, eight eighth notes would fill up a measure, right? Um, two half notes would fill up a measure. One whole note would fill up a measure. Um, or, you know, two quarter notes and one half note, or one half note and two quarter notes, uh, as you can see in the second measure there. Um, but that first measure, there are two quarter notes, and that's it, which looks kind of funky. This is called a pickup bar, or a pickup measure, or a lead-in measure, right? And here's the fun thing about lead-in or pickup measures, is that they are always, they are always completed by the end of the song. So in this case, just scan down to the end of this song on the second line there, it ends with a half note in a measure. And it is tied to a whole note from the previous measure, but it's it's a half note and that's it. So the pickup bar has two quarter notes, that's worth two. The ending measure is a partial measure, it has a half note, also worth two. Put them together, you got one whole measure. All right, so um, if uh, you were watching like a choir director uh, lead this song, they would probably sort of like go like, a, B, so there'd be like a, a silent one, two, and that's often what we do in our heads when we're gonna play a song like this, right? So to get, to get the beat going, we go one, two, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, E. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really prepared to sing. <laughs> Let's sing together though, right? This is important. It's important that we sing. It helps to internalize the song. It's, it's definitely a good thing to do. So uh, let's back up a little bit. We are going to sing through this song. But hopefully that's a clear enough explanation of, of why there's a half measure to start the song off, okay? So melody line, we've got um, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, E, F, E, A, E, F, E, C, B, C, A. Let's look at that second line, the second measure in the second line. It starts with a dotted half note, right? Remember that that dot means that, that dot means that whatever note it's attached to gets its value plus one half. So the note that it's attached to is a half note, so that's worth two beats, plus one half would be one more beat. So a dotted half note gives you three beats. And that's why the next note is a quarter note and that takes us to four. So that measure is done, right? And then in those last two measures of that line, we have a whole note, which is worth four. And then as we already talked about, we have a half note that's worth two, and they've got this little line that connects them. That just means that you hold it straight through for all four counts, all two counts. It's a six count hold right through to the end, okay? I apologize for my voice. I've got the singing range of basically a practice chanter, but not necessarily a practice chanter that's in tune, so. And it's kind of early right now where, I, where I'm at. So let's just go for that again, and you'll be forgiving of me, and we'll, we'll sing it together. We're, we're doing it all together. So let's sing it again. I'll tap my finger for our metronome. One, two, ready, and one, two. A, B, C, B, A, B, C, E, F, E, A, E, F. E, C, B, C, A. Cool. Feel free to pause it, sing through it a couple more times, look up recordings to listen to. They might not be exactly the same melody line, but it'll give you a good feel for how the song goes, okay? And for this one, we will attack it in the method of uh, we're going to play the melody by itself and then go back and add in grace notes, okay? 
We won't do that very often in these videos um, just because it'll take up more time, but feel free to do that for yourself. If that is a system that's working for you, feel free to keep doing it. As I said before, you might decide as time goes on, you might decide that actually it's more time effective for you to just learn it with the embellishments right from the beginning, um, but up to you. So we're gonna play the melody line here. Uh, let's start with, let's just do the uh, do, 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 do. We'll just go up to that F, okay? So we've got quarter note A, quarter note B, half note C, then back down to B, down to A, and then back up again, B, C, then we skip the D and go right to E, okay? And then from E to F, okay? Let's play it together, really slow. One, two, ready, and one, two. <laughs> gets four counts, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go that far again, just a little bit faster. One, two, a little faster than that. One, two, ready, and one, two. <laughs> Feel free to pause it and go over that part a few more times. We're gonna move on. We'll pick up from that F. We'll go one, two, three, four, E, E, A, E, F, E, C, B. Just that far, okay? Now, I think that at this point, maybe it was just me, but I feel like for me, certainly, going down the scale remained a little more difficult than going up. So the beginning of the song really kind of is working its way up a scale. Now the second part of the song, this next sort of phase of the song, we're now kind of working our way down a scale. Don't get discouraged if it feels a little bit more difficult. Just go over it a few extra times and you'll, you'll have it down pretty quickly. So picking up from that F, quarter, or F whole note, one, two, ready, and. Good, now, if your chanter, if your practice chanter's tuning is way off from mine, the, the, that whole section is gonna be very painful. It always gets even worse toward the top end of the chanter. And I'm, I don't know what to tell you other than to start building up your immunity to it now because band practice is gonna be uh, a special experience if this is difficult, that's for sure. So try to kind of uh, tune that stuff out and uh, just, just play it and just be okay with it. Um, or, you know, adjust your chanter to match mine as much as you can. Here we go, we do that section one more time, just a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and. Good, remember that B that we landed on? It gets one, two, three, and then the, the C that follows it, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, ah. okay? Now the ending is just to go to C and then to A. That's, you got that. So we're gonna play through the whole song now without embellishments. One, two, ready, and one, two. Oh, I said without embellishments and then I played a G grace note, sorry. One, two, ready, and. Now, in this format where you're just watching videos, you are policing yourself. So pay close attention to how clean your fingers are, right? When you, when you move from an A to a B, or from a B to a C, or from a C to an E, are your fingers all moving right together? Watch yourself carefully. Maybe even record yourself and watch the video or set up a mirror so you can see. When you go to E, are you going E? 
you hear that? You can hear it on the practice channel. That means you're really gonna hear it on the Highland bagpipes, right? So I'm gonna have clean transitions. No crossover sounds, okay? So let's do that. We'll do the melody line one more time without embellishments, and then we're gonna start adding in the grace notes, okay? A little bit faster this time. One, two, ready, and one, two. Okay, let's start adding in the grace notes. So we start the song off with a G grace note. G grace note to A. Then D grace note to C. D grace note to C. B, A. Then we have a G grace note to B. C, E. We can sit on that E for a minute to think about what we're doing next, which is a G grace note to F. E, G grace note to F. And then another G grace note back to E. A, E, G grace note to F, E, C, G grace note to B, D grace note to C, A, okay? So let's take it in the same sections as we did when we were playing just the melody line. We're gonna play from the beginning up to that uh, whole note F, okay? Here we go, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, and. I apologize, I just realized that the angle on my chanter maybe isn't the most ideal. I'll turn like this a little bit, see if that helps. Okay, let's do that much uh, one more time, a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and one, two. Good. Now my G grace note to C right at the beginning was messy. You wanna hear a messy one, go ahead and just rewind a little bit and listen to how I did that. That is how to not do it. Okay, let's do that section one more time and then we'll move on. We're gonna do it just a little bit faster still. One, two, ready, and. Now to move on to the next section, we're gonna just play from that, that whole note F, we'll just hold it, and we're gonna dive into that uh, G grace note to E, and we're gonna play all the way through to the end of the song. Now, for the first few runs though, when we get to that low A, I'm just gonna cut us off so that we don't just sit here blowing spit into our chanters for a really long, really, cause we're gonna be playing it really slow for a really slow six counts. So we'll get that far and I'll just cut us off and we'll start again, okay? So, starting from F, we're gonna go G grace note to E, Okay, from F, G grace note to E. Sorry, the angle on that changer. F, G grace note to E, okay? Then A, E, G grace note to F, E, C, G grace note to B, D grace note to C, A. Nice and slow, here we go. One, two, three, four. Of that low A. Okay, let's do it again just a tiny bit faster. One, two, ready, and. Sorry, you, you start with the G grace note if you want to, you don't have to. One, two, ready, and. Good, now we're gonna speed it up a little bit. One, two, ready. Let's go even faster than that. One, two, ready, and. <coughs> Sorry, then I choked on my spit. <laughs> One, two, ready, and.
Okay, let's do the whole song all together. Feel free to pause it and go over that last part as much as you need to, or any other part, really. From the beginning. One, two, ready, and... Okay, I'm gonna do it again, just a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and... And I had two crossovers. If you can tell where the crossovers happen, call them out in the comments below. That'll be a fun game. <laughs> Every video you can call out where my crossover sounds were. Okay, last time we're gonna do it a little bit faster. One, two, ready, and. Go over it some more, play it for your friends, and then come back and we'll learn the next song that's on the same page. It's a really fun one.